Greetings to the West Texas District Assembly. This is my ninth report as pastor of Valley View Church of the Nazarene and still enjoying great days here. This Mother's Day will be my 10-year anniversary and give thanks for the opportunity to minister here over the years and look forward to the days ahead. This past year was a year marked uh, specifically by intensive prayer on my part as a pastor. And through those times of prayer, I began to see the Lord opening doors uh, to do amazing things. One of those stories uh, is a story of a man named Roy, who I met just before Christmas. Uh, Roy was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer, never been a part of a church, uh, never been a believer, and was asked by friends of his to come and see him in the hospital, and so I did. When I showed up that day, Roy was sitting in the bed uh, smoking an electronic cigarette and uh, just looked completely hopeless and uh, just destitute, just very down. And I began to share with Roy the good news of Jesus. And within just a few minutes, his whole countenance changed. And by the end of that conversation, he gave his heart to the Lord. Uh, within a couple of weeks' time, Roy was out of the hospital, and I kept in contact with him. And uh, one day over the telephone, I was talking with Roy, and he asked me if I did that thing called baptism. And I told him I sure did. And uh, two weeks later, Roy came and was at our church and was baptized into his faith. And just a marvelous day of celebration. Actually, he and his daughter were both baptized that day uh, for the very first time. And give thanks for the opportunity. But this year was a year marked by prayer, uh, intensive prayer. I believe in the power of prayer. I've seen it this past year in our ministry. And I uh, just wanted to share with you this clip that talks about the significance and the importance of prayer in the life of a pastor. Dear Lord, Hello? No, no, I'm not busy. No, it's fine. I wasn't doing anything. When pastors don't spend enough time in prayer, they run out of things to preach on. And, uh... Uh... Let us pray. When pastors run out of things to preach on, they have their youth pastors preach. When Moses built the ark, the animals came in two by fours. And when youth pastors preach, they use the game train wreck to get people to come to the altar. As we're going into this time of prayer, I just want to invite all of you who are wearing shorts to come forward. <laughs> Call for everybody in a suit jacket. Come on! Suit jacket! Yes! Don't use the game train wreck to get people to the altar. Spend more time in prayer.